Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. It's a lot of things. I'll explain later. But I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad that you are here. I'm Shadel Kedi. Right now we're at the beach, my favorite place, our favorite place. It's pretty early in the morning and there's nobody else but us here. Nice, right? Your favorite pastime? I love the beach. I kind of, I kind of prefer the river, but the beach is closer right now, so we're at the beach. What do you do for fun? What do you do to relax? To you know, relax your mind. What do you do to relieve stress? What do you do? What do you do? Type it in the comments. I'm looking forward to a great morning, relaxing. You know, teaching our daughter to swim and all that jazz. But I'm also going to be sharing some conversations I had with some of my favorite moms with you. I asked each of them the same questions, three specific questions. I asked them, what is your favorite thing about being a mom? What is your fondest memory throughout this motherhood journey? And what is the biggest sacrifice you've ever made as a mom? So I'm going to be sharing those responses with you and I hope you'll enjoy. Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video if you really do like it, and you know, just be a friend. Talk soon. What is your favorite thing about being a mom? Hi, I am Sasha and I have a seven-year-old boy called Mary, soon to be eight. What I love most about being a mom is just the experience of it all. Being able to give in the responsibility actually to help mold someone and to help uh, forming who he will be. You know, um, a big part of my job as his mommy is to teach him values and help to shape the kind of man he will be tomorrow. And I think that is the best part because it's not, it's a responsibility, yes, but it's a fun responsibility. I get to spend time with him and to hear his thoughts and to see how his thoughts have changed from only toys and Autobots and robots to actual real life stuff, his faith and things that the Bible say and how he interacts with others. So that is quite frankly the best part. Mommy! 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 I love you. 
Tokyo. <laughs> oh my god. I love you. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs> I love you too. Perfect timing. <laughs> and that is what I love most uh, about being a mom. Um, that that's my thing. I, I love her random calling me for no reason. Um, just calling to say, "Are you okay, mommy?" Or just show, popping up when I say I want quote unquote privacy or um just to come and say i love you and she does it so often um it, it feels natural to me but yeah that's it yes baby hi auntie you think you know. hi darling you can't, you can't think you know no i can't even think you know <laughs> what is your favorite thing about being a mom I just think it's a blessing. Um, I just think it's a blessing to to play that role in bringing another life on on planet Earth. To to have that child grow in you, to feel that child move in you, and to actually go through the birth process as hard as it, as it was, and, and and to hold that child. And to it. So that's all that was in me. That you know, I played the most mm -hmm. important role. Mm -hmm. I think that. Mm -hmm. awesome. Nice. The thing that I love most about being a mom is the type of love that it comes with. Unconditional love. I get to give the purest form of love and return I get the same. In return I get the same, like the purest form of love. Being a mom gives me a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Knowing that I'm raising these little humans and shaping their futures, it comes with a big responsibility, but it's mostly rewarding watching them grow and experiencing new things through their eyes. It just gives me an unexplainable feeling and I love it. What is the biggest sacrifice you ever made as a mom? Uh, the biggest sacrifice I've made for Nari would be my time. As a mom, you have to give time for homework and there is time for that quality time, not just him being in my presence, but uh, doing stuff with him, interacting with him, finding out about his day, taking him out, sitting down, reading together, playing together. Um, as a scientist mommy, we do experiments together and most of the time, if not all the time, Nari gets priority in terms of things that need to be done and time that need to be spent. So I would definitely say time. My biggest sacrifice since becoming a mother would have to be that um, I placed my career goals on the back burner, I guess, um, because I had to focus solely on my child and her future. I didn't really get a chance to go back to school and uh, finish up to become a guidance counselor like I've always wanted to. Um, I love children and I've always wanted to be kind of like a support system for all kids, not just mine. And, the, you know, the guidance counselor thing never really worked out because I needed to go back to school to pursue that. And I was busy being a mom. I needed to be there in support of my child um, fully 100%. And so it never worked out for me putting myself and, and that's constant putting myself behind they were always at the forefront of my life mm. every decision you know mm -hmm. I have always waited always is gonna benefit like it mm -hmm. and as cliche as it may sound yeah. that was literally always the case for my kids were young like two year old three year old I would ask them what is it that you want for dinner today you know, as a mother, I can just go and say, okay, this is what I'm cooking, give you yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sacrifice myself. I'm going to yes. out here. Yep. One of my biggest sacrifices would be financial sacrifices, putting my kids' needs before my own at all times. Time is another sacrifice that I often give up choosing to be with my kids. Time is very important to me because a happy mom raises happy kids, so that's very important to me. What is your fondest memory 
fulfilled motherhood? Um, my fondest motherhood memory. I cannot pinpoint one. Uh, I think my fondest memories is just a grouping of all his firsts. So I can distinctively remember the first time he sat up, the first time I heard a little clink of his teeth on a cup, uh, the first time he said mama, the first time, the first steps. So all the firsts I think would be my fondest memories. Uh, one of my fondest moments about being a mom that really um, showed me that I was doing a good job with my little girl. We were at the clinic and there was this child here. The child was um, challenged and nonverbal. And my little girl, she didn't, she didn't see a challenge. And when I say challenge, you know, um, I never knew the correct word to use for this, but the child was somewhat, um, she, she didn't have one arm. Um, she only had one, she only had one arm. And um, my little girl, she didn't see that. She didn't see, that you know there was something wrong with the child she, what she saw was a little girl for her to play with and she had her crayons and her coloring book and she just went over and gave the child a coloring book and they immediately became friends and this is a non-verbal child so so far what is your fondest memory of being a mom i know you're a mom of two um so it doesn't matter you know with which one exactly but your fondest, fondest memory. memory oh lord i've had a few but i can remember I've been a single mom, mm. so I pretty much raised my kids by myself. Mm -hmm. I remember when my daughter was graduating from basic school, mm -hmm. I would have been at the age of about five, six, mm -hmm. and I knew she was doing well, I didn't know she was doing that well, so in the graduation ceremony I remember she got the most outstanding girl, yes. and I... <laughs> Just jumped up. Yeah. And I was like, that's my baby. That's my yeah. baby. Like, I always remember that. I always remember. That was nice. awesome. I didn't expect it. And yeah, you know, she was the most outstanding mm -hmm. in the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that blew my mind. Nice. You're an excellent mom. I wish you all the very best. And may God continue to bless you. I appreciate that so much. Thank yeah, you. blessings. One of my fondest motherhood memory would be the first time I held any of my kids. The first time I've seen them smile. Literally all the first. I often feel wholehearted just knowing that literally I created this person, this human being. I like to look about children. Yeah. And I love them a lot. Mm -hmm. I do everything for them. Mm -hmm. And I take care of other rest of people child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to your children then what when it comes to your kids, what do you worry about the most? Sometimes I worry about with my children, sometimes I don't have it. Mm-hmm. you know I would have liked my children then, you know, for mm -hmm. more time, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you don't have it, you know you don't have it. As in the issue. Yeah. So they you worry to, about yes, not being uh, able to provide for yes, them sometimes. Yeah. Struggle. Yeah. A lot for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Sometimes so, I go to the, the field with them in mm -hmm. a hamper. Mm -hmm. Put one in one hamper and put one in another hamper. Mm -hmm. And when I go to the field, the place is called Kida Mountain. Mm -hmm. And I carry them and my husband. Mm -hmm. I throw the bag with every reach. I put on the pot on the fire. Mm -hmm. To cook for them. Mm -hmm. And the time you reach out when you see the sun shining, that is late. Mm -hmm. And the time you put the down here and whatever and carry them home at night. Mm -hmm. And you come, you have to put them down and then you make up for you, cook something for them mm -hmm. again, and be them and go to them bed. Them. Yeah. Yes. So that, that is a part of it. So, so what would you say are the biggest sacrifices you make for your children now? Well, the sacrifice, I walk one year to Brownstone. I'm going. With that lady named Miss Brown, make some epaulet necktie with come preschool. Oh. And after walk, he come back. Just to let my children them survive, you know? Yeah. And I love them. Yes. I love my children. Yeah. But try to help myself, plant up little things, them. We plant the color and everything there, yeah. and the bush cabbage, pepper. Pepper. How can I let the thing try? 
Mm-hmm. That's me can so it me can get somebody something out of it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm proud to be a mother, you know, because I take care of my children and I don't run it from them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm proud to be a mother. Yeah. And I tell a mother for my children and I run somebody's children too. Yes. Nice. Yes. All right, thank you so much for your time and all the best blessings and coverage, all right? Yes. All right. Thank you too. We're done at the beach, all changed, wash off and freshen up. We're heading home now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed what the mothers had to share. And I'm going to be looking in the comments for those things you've shared in terms of what your in terms of what your favorite pastime is. And I hope this summer you get some time to relax if you're a mother, especially if you're a parent, a mother, you know. Take some time to go and have some fun or just relax at the beach or the river. And just know that. We love you and appreciate you, you know, and I hope you feel that love. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.